an up-tempo jazz Afrobeat instrumental plays through the auditorium speakers as I enter. The front stage is wide and low, close to the level of the seats on the main level of this auditorium. In the middle of the stage, there's a ship steering wheel with a face etched on it. The auditorium is an efficient space. Although I was seated two rows underneath the balcony overhang and approximately five rows from the back of the main level, I did not feel far from the music and the presenters on stage. As the event was about to get underway, a woman walked up to a podium at the side of the front stage and she said, in keeping with our African tradition, may we have permission to proceed with our worship, to signify, wave your handkerchief. And with that, a procession of choir singers entered the auditorium, accompanied by the syncopated beats of the African drum players on the front stage. Nearly every choir member was wearing a West African-inspired dashiki, dress, head wrap, or kufi. In the first 15 minutes, the people assembled in this space experienced a wider and more global expression of love for God than most people will see in a year. The opening song was performed with a reggae vibe. The opening meditation was offered in Spanish and English. The opening prayer was delivered in Jamaican patois. The mime dance performance that followed was set to a gospel ballad. The time set aside for the audience to greet the people seated around them lasted for a good five minutes and was one of the more joyful breaks of this kind that I've seen so far. The band played a jazz instrumental while people embraced, laughed, and smiled at each other. The journey continues in the Washington Heights neighborhood on the south side at the corner of 95th Street and Eggleston.